Hi everybody, Angie here. Coming on to start a journal with you guys. I was, again, doing some organizing in a couple drawers. I've been trying to do a couple here and a couple there as we go along. Um, and I found this. It's a start of a journal that I, idea that I had. And for some reason, I put it aside and didn't get back to it. And honestly, I don't know how long I've had it sitting here. So I thought I'd pull everything out and we would do it together. Now, as I was looking at this, I um, don't particularly remember why I stopped, but um, my idea was, here's the cover, okay? And um, I used a cellophane Repo, um, repurposed um, cellophane packaging. Let me see if I have one. This is all my wrappers and packaging that I do not throw away because I never know when something's going to come in handy. And that's where this came from. And I wanted to show you. Let me see. Um, yeah. I don't have one like that, but um, hmm. trying to see. Well, maybe that's kind of small. Let me see. Hold on. Hold on, guys. Uh, okay, I'm just going to pull one of these out. I keep all my packaging because I never know when something's going to come in handy, okay? And I, I do remember, because um, I've done it before, keeping package, large packaging like this because I was thinking, oh, that's the size of a journal cover, okay? Just like this, okay? Disregard the advertising part. But um, again, see how large that is? And I just, you never know when something like this is going to come in. Maybe I might want to use the zipper. Um, I might want to use some of the packaging because this is really heavy duty. But what I was thinking when I started this was um, use it as a liner for a cover and you get the you hear that? You get the crinkleness of like the deli paper and stuff and we love all those textures and the little noises and stuff like that. Um, so that's why I particularly I think started this journal. Okay, um, and then as I got going, sometimes I just start on a whim, and you know, hey, sometimes those can be the best um, blessings, and sometimes they can be a fail, but you know, we've just got to embrace the creativity part of it, have fun, and just do what we do um, in our crafting world. So, um, after I put it together, I think I got to thinking, how about putting a file folder in there to kind of give it a little extra sturdiness and decorate that. I think that's what I had in mind. And that's obviously where I stopped maybe for whatever reason. Um, I don't know. But that's all this is, is just a packaging. And I think just some paper came in it, like some rice paper or, you know, something like that. So I... Um, just left it open at the top. I cut a piece of um, canvas fabric, lined it with some crocheted trim, and stitched all around the three sides. Okay, so let's continue there. I'm just going to kind of go with it. I don't know exactly what I had in mind. I have papers. I have, I have a whole bunch of papers here, obviously, for a signature or two. Um, and I'm just going to I'm just going to go for it and see what we come up with. Uh, I don't know if this was my original thought and idea, but um, let's just have some fun, okay? So hopefully you guys might enjoy coming along with me. Now, this was the inside what we just took out, and as you can see, it has been folded over. So before I sew in my signature, um, I think what the intention was, once I sew it in, Okay, once we get that sewn in and put back in the sleeve, so to speak, I have two top pockets along the um, top portion of the journal. And like I said, this could be 
this could turn out to be something really cute, really something fun, trendy, um, something everyone wants to give it a try, or it could be a fail. I don't know, but I just want to have some fun. So let's try it, guys. So as you can see, the, uh, the cellophane sleeve is clear, so we don't want to leave that blank. We definitely want to decorate this. Okay, we won't be able to see the back because of the canvas fabric, but we'll definitely see the front. So let's start there and let's do some decorating. Now I had this, so obviously I had something in mind, but um, since we've got some brown, just looking this over, we've got brown in here, we've got the cream colors. So let's start with um, some inking. That's always a good place to start. So I'm gonna bring up my vintage photo. And we're just gonna, okay, you guys are gonna just come along with me, okay? And we're just gonna, and I don't particularly like all those circular, but I'm hoping in the buffing that I'll be able to work a lot of that out. <clears throat> I am just gonna go around the edges. And I'm just gonna kind of think as I go and I'll clean up the my dust surface when I'm done with this inking process. And probably make more of a mess because as I'm thinking, I might wanna bring out, um, I don't know, maybe some acrylics or gesso or something and use with this stencil. I don't know, but let's just, let's just play, okay? And if you guys have any ideas, <laughs> let me know. Ah. So how is everybody doing today? Hope everybody's well. I'm good. I, uh, in a good mood. Tomorrow is my birthday. So I'm, I don't know. Kind of excited, kind of not. I mean, you know, I'm thankful I'm here to see another year. But I just, you know, we reminisce and we remember when we're, when we're younger. Oh, we just cannot wait for our birthday to be a year older. Just to be a year older was just so exciting for us. You know, you're in your 20s or whatever. And, oof, now, you know, we're thankful and we're glad to be on this earth another year, but not, I don't know, it just changes, you know? It just changes. We're happy for different reasons. <laughs> other than just being older, you know? Okay, that's a good start. I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing, guys. <laughs> We're just gonna and I have that down the middle, but I want a little bit of the darker brown to show through, I think, because I think that will show. So let's hit that middle portion as well. how many projects we will start at any given time okay I think that's a, oops, my hair I think that's a good start um, next let's do I grabbed a few things that I thought might go I have bought these on um, Aliexpress a while back and haven't used those yet so maybe we can do some stamping maybe we can use those somewhere um, I have a couple stamps, silicone stamps. I thought we could just try some things out, see how it works. Like I said, I have nothing. I think I originally I just kind of thought this would be kind of like an eclectic style journal. Just a little this, a little that, and um, you know, see what works. So I don't know, do I want to do brown? Yeah, well, do I want to do black? Let's do black. And I'm just going to do a little bit of random stamping. 
and I have a few stamps here, so we'll just do a mixture. Like I said, this we'll just make this kind of an eclectic style. Um, journal. And I'm going to grab a piece of scrap paper here. See what I've got. Maybe some off stamping. Maybe just show a portion of this stamp and not the whole thing. Maybe. Maybe something like that. Okay, that's enough of that one. Let's grab something else. Let's see what else we've got here. Let's use these other stamps out of this set. And this is just a set I've had for a while, um, what is it? American Crafts, it's called High Stamp Hooray, Noted Stamp Set. I've had it for quite a while. Okay, let's hit this one a couple times. It's pretty. off later I guess okay maybe we'll go with the third one also and let's just get the flower not so much of the text right here. Okay. Just doing some, trying to fill it up a little bit. I think that looks pretty good. Okay. So let's see what do we want to do next. Um, let me move this out of the way. Um, let's open this and see what we can do with this. See, it was a package like this, but except it's, of course, it was taller in the width of this. But I was thinking that would make a nice journal. You know, you fold it in half. We've got the crinkle. You know, that kind of concept is, I think, is what I was going for. So we're just going to, we're just going to see what happens. Okay, let's bring in some green. And again, no rhyme or reason, just a little something here and there. And this color I'm using here is Pine Needle. 
from Tim Holtz. And then I don't know how it's going to look when we're done, but it sure looks pretty good real so far, I think. I love the colors. Okay, do we need any more? How about if we use a different color? What about... Some light green. Where's my? There we go. Let's try some bundled sage. Let me find a different dauber. And I don't have one, so I'm gonna just pull one of these off and use a little felt tip. This isn't the foam one, but I think we can still get by with it. Oh, I like those dots. Let's do a few dots. here. Mm. Maybe a little something here. Okay. Maybe a little in this corner. bad and then let's see now what do we want to do maybe some gesso let me grab it oh i don't know where my gesso is just want to grab my white acrylic paint. I don't know where my gesso is. I must have used it and stuck it somewhere quickly. Which isn't like me, but things are known to happen. <laughs> okay, let's do, um, no, I don't want to use that stamp anymore. Let's use a different stamp. Let's see. I need to clean that now. So let me put that off to the side. Grab this one. And you can see this one's well loved. I didn't clean that one off, did I? Okay. Let's do some white. And we're just going to hit this too. A little bit here and there.
think I'm putting a little too much, but it's kind of getting a little, little mushy there, but it's okay. I can live with it. Grab a paper towel, I mean a baby wipe. Knock some of this off of my fingers. Okay. All right. And I do think I want to bring in, <laughs> see, we're just kind of going on a whim here. I think I do want to bring in, oops, we'll go over that. With some dots where I just smudged that ink. I think what it is is the acrylic paint is a little too thin. That's why I'm getting that little bit of seeping out, but that's okay. We're just gonna use, use it anyway. And then I'm gonna have to get up again and grab my heat tool so we can hit this with the heat tool. So that one's a little bit better. Okay. I think that's enough. What do you think? Do we need more? I think that's good. And then we can um, move this, clean that. I have a lot of cleaning to do later. Okay, let's see. We'll grab another baby wipe. I got two. Okay. And we're going to clean this. I think I'm about due for a new mat, too. I'm so hard on mats. My stuff gets well used, I tell you. That's for sure. Okay. Put that aside. I'm going to grab my heat tool. Okay, bring this back in. Is that dry? Almost. Give it a little fan here. Okay, I'm gonna turn my heat gun on. I'm gonna hit that and dry that just a little bit. So we're gonna hear a little noise for a few seconds. Okay, excuse me, you might want to turn your volume down for just a moment. Okay, that acrylic is a little bit thicker than I anticipated, but we cannot put that into the cover sleeve until that's completely dry. It's just going to smear and make a huge mess, which I don't want, and I'm sure you guys don't want to see. So I'm going to wait a few minutes, and while we're doing that, I'm going to use my other, before I handle these papers, I'm going to get all this ink off of my fingers, and I'm going to go through my papers because... I don't know what I have in there. And that'll give that a little bit more time to dry. Okay, let's see what I've got here. Is that dry? Okay, I had all this. And I had these stickers, I'm not sure why, but we'll hold on to those. And looks like my papers are already have been folded in half. 
So let's just run through those and see if that's um, how I want to use it. I guess it was in order. So I think it's just some random papers. Well, that's upside down. Um, I've got some herb magazine, herb uh, notebook, a book, pa book page. I've got some coffee dyed printable there. Yeah, as I'm going through these, I think these were all just random pieces that I had left over from kits. And I think I just wanted to throw them all together and make like an eclectic style journal. Here's a um, music sheet from a children's uh, piano book, looks like. And as you can see, I got this from a thrift store. You can see somebody still got the writing on it. 918, what, who knows what year that was. Okay. So let's see, we got another digital. Got a half page here. Must have kept that because I like that image there. So that's an easy fix when we have only have a half a page. We can add to that and finish, extend that out. Okay. Um, looks like some. That's kind of a gray. That's pretty. I probably just thought, put that in there for color. Another digital. Another digital. Yeah, these are all just random bits and pieces and pages. Another digital. Another one. Oh, vellum. Piece of vellum. Got to have some vellum in there. Digital. Back page of a piano music sheet, just the text portion. Oh, an envelope, more digital. Okay, well, that's not too bad. Let me close it up. And I like to go through it a couple times, guys, so please be patient with me. Because I like to see the colors, how they're going to lay up against each other. So let's go through it like this. that there maybe there because there's a little bit of green it kind of pulls I think that would be better there same with this one looks like I probably put that there because there's a little bit of green on that page okay little color page there Pop that right down in there, guys. You didn't tell me. Okay, vellum. Let's break up those two pieces because those are both quite busy. Well, they're, all three of them are kind of busy even with the text, but at least that breaks those two pieces up. So let's switch those out. We've got our envelope, and spattered light muted color page. And we got that. And then we got that. Okay. I feel like I like to have. Hmm. I'm trying to think. A colorful page in the middle. Just trying to think of what I have that I can add to it. Let me look through my pads here. Let me grab something. Here's a pad of 12 by 12. It's double-sided paper here. How about one of these for the middle? Um, let's just see what I'm looking at here. I guess we'll just go with this top page because all the other ones are. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. All right, so let me measure this and see what we need these sizes to be. These were just eight and a half by 11. So I'm gonna bring in my cutter. 
eight and a half. Eleven. Okay. And that'll be good for the middle. Which side do I want? I think I want this side. Yeah, I wasn't counting either. See, this paper is getting old. It's getting a little brittle. And also, that's because of the uh, glitter. It's a glitter paper as well. Okay. So, we can just stick it in like that. Or we can trim all our pages down to be the right size. So, they all, all the same size. Um, I don't really matter me. So, we'll just leave it as is. Let me just make sure they're all straight. Let's count on one, two, three, four, five, won't count the doily, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. I won't count the envelope. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Twenty-three, twenty-four. That's a lot. Okay. Twenty-four times four. That's ninety-six pages. That's that's a lot. That's going to be a big journal. Okay, so I think they're all pretty straight. I'm okay with the sizing. I'm okay with the positioning of the papers. So now all I need to do, and this is still not dry. Let me grab a clip. Hold these together. And this is still not dry. So, this is going to be our cover. This is going to slide down inside. Once this dries completely, I'm going to slide this down inside. And... We will have a top pocket. We can see what I want to do there. Yeah, I think that'll look good. What do you say? Okay, well, I think I'm going to stop the video there. I wasn't exactly planning on making this such a short video, but I didn't intend on this. Really wasn't no, wasn't sure what I was going to do or which way I was going to go. Um, but when I come back on, you will find this. I have put this in the sleeve and got it positioned, and I will probably... Just reinforce the stitching right here um, because it is getting a little loose. And um, put that in and we will continue on the next video from there and see which way this, um, see where this journal takes us, okay? So that's going to be it. A little something different, something fun. Um, I hope you guys follow along for the process on this. Here's the bits that we're working with so far. Yeah, it's a nice little blend. Okay, well, I'm going to take off for today. We will continue um, getting this, um, this the signature sewn in and see what we can do as far as decorating, okay? So thank you for, so much for spending some time with me. I appreciate it. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye.